Hi, how's it going today, guys? Want to break Nate here and I have a breaking news story for you. Derek Jeter, Wayne Gretzky, and Misty Copeland launches a performance sportswear brand called Greatest Wins. Even if an athlete's talent comes from within, having quality athletic gear doesn't hurt. Thus comes a new venture from sports legend Derek Jeter, Wayne Gretzky, and Misty Copeland, known as Greatness Wins, a premier sportswear brand made by athletes for athletes. The brand sprouted from Untuck It founder Chris Ricobano's frustration with finding quality athletic wear that felt great and fit better. So with the help of three iconic athletes, the team is set to prove that greatness does win when you have the right things to wear. The brand creation draws on the experience and enterprise of its three athlete partners, each of which are among the all-time greats in their respective sports. Jeter and Rico Bono are using their combined business knowledge to push the venture. Copeland is leading the brand's women line, and Gretzky is taking over its golf division, and not hockey, where he's known as the great one. That's probably going to be because they're just way too small, you know, to have a hockey line or any kind of other line than, you know, a basic sportswear, activewear kind of line. For now, the brand's offerings are limited to men's and golf attire, with the women line to follow next year. Loose and athletic shorts, t-shirts, polos, tanks, and long sleeves are offered in a range of color options and stitched with Greatness Win logos. So yeah, obviously, like I said, they're just way too small to be trying to do every line that wouldn't get them any kind of revenue at all at first, which is very smart to not do that. Quarter zip pullovers and tie string joggers comprise the colder weather options. And three crew neck socks round out the capsule to be paired with your sneakers or slides of choice. One of the main goals of Greatness Wins was to create apparel that can actually withstand the lifestyle and performance of an athlete without compromising quality. Thanks to technical fabrics and sustainable materials, the pieces are guaranteed not to rip off, peel, or lose their shape, even after a wash cycle. They always wanted to stay away from the athleisure trend, instead creating pieces that wear as comfortable as Nike or Adidas tracksuits but perform better. I'll just say this, I've never ever worn any of the pieces that they have made. Obviously this is a new company, but I'm just saying this. But if they're able to do that, then it's no way that this company would not blow up. Airing on the side of sustainability, the collection is equal forward in materials and practices alike. Through fair trades, fair and safe supply chain initiatives, the brand invests in the livelihood of over 1,500 workers. 98% of the base materials are blue sign or ecotech certified, meaning harmful chemicals and dyes are kept out of waterways and away from your skin. 80% of the collection's shorts are made using recycled fibers like polyester for an equivalent of 21,930 plastic bottles. The recycled materials help lower the brand's greenhouse gas emission by more than 70% compared to virgin polyester. You can shop Greatness Wins Sportswear on their website now, www.greatnesswins.com, which ranges from size small to 3X. Prices also range from $15 to $118, leaving room in any budget to tap into your greatness. Wow, so very interesting and very unexpected, to be honest. Never would have thought I'd seen these three greats, literally all-time greats of their sport, collab for something like this. But again, we know it wasn't originally their idea. But either way, I actually like what I see from the brand so far. The clothing articles that they've selected to be put to the forefront of this Stark collection isn't bad at all. I like the socks. I like the fleece. The shorts aren't bad. I believe I see sweatpants as well. I'm liking it so far. To be honest though, not even gonna lie, the logo looks like the K-Swiss logo with just a crown on top. So I'm not sure too much how the logo or if the logo would catch on at all, but I know that's more so about marketing than having a great logo. You know, when you have a great logo, that's going to go either way, but marketing can push your logo, especially in today's age where it's all about visibility and the more you see it, the more you get familiar with it. I mean, to be honest, it's kind of always been like that, but you know, it's a little easier 
and more reinforced in your head with social media and things like that. But yeah, I, I have no problem with this at all. I like it. I think these three would definitely work for it. You know, it's crazy because I was wondering if Misty Copeland was still with Under Armour. I might have missed that story. Well, no, I had to miss that story when she left or departed or however it happened. But yeah, I was wondering that when I was reading something about Under Armour the other day. But yeah, it's great to see that she's doing her own thing. You know, a lot of um, female athletes has been starting their own sports and activewear companies. Venus Williams did it. Allison Felix, you know, the all-time track great started one as well. And now you can add Misty Copeland to that list because she's one of the co-founders of great wins brand. The other crazy thing is these are some of the greatest winners in sports period too. So you got to appreciate the humor in that. But yeah, overall, I definitely like this. I want to see how the brand will be in about a year or two. Honestly, I want to see if they're going to go for any big names and do any big deals, you know, partners or collabs or sponsoring any people. And if so, who they do it with, because again, that's another huge thing of today. Because, you know, anyone can be individually sponsored. You can play on the Mavs, but every player on the Mavs can have a different sponsor, which will be great once, you know, leagues start actually letting everyone do so. But yes, I'd like to see which direction next Greatest Wins goes, especially if they're successful in their launch. And for the next year and a half, two years, they're growing and steadily being successful. I'd like to see where they jump to next, because, again, I would think it would be, you know, just going full throttle with it, getting the logo and name seen and heard as much as possible. And that would be sponsoring events, putting it on one of the new up and coming big stars. You know, Amani Bates is just a random person I thought of, the college basketball player, not saying they're going after him, but this is just a random person I thought of. You know, if you're an up and coming company and you was to sign someone like him or do a deal with him, that would definitely get your company noticed. So it's going to be interesting to see what they do next and how they navigate through this launch to survival, to becoming a household name and big player in the sports and activewear game. So you guys let me know how you feel about that. Do you like the brand? Do you like how it looks so far? Have you heard anything about it? Did you know this was happening? Would you wear it? Do you think they're going to fulfill their promise of making the best sportswear clothing performance wise and look wise? You guys let me know how you feel about that. Thank you so much for tuning in with me today. It's One Break Nate and I'm out.